Hi everyone, Sean Humphreys here. Welcome to All Things Retirement. In today's video, we're going to talk about an extremely important part of overall retirement income planning. And that's a whole topic of goals and seeking clarity as it relates to our retirement planning objectives. And uh, we're going to walk you through just a few important points to think about in this whole area of goal setting and clarification as it relates to your retirement income plan. Um, so when we talk about the overall model for retirement planning, I think this schematic is great. Um, you, it's a whole bunch of pieces that need to be pulled together to truly have an effective retirement income plan. Uh, over the last 30 years, we've walked hundreds of families through a process of getting ready to retire, to transition into retirement and be retired. And all these areas need to be looked at, whether it's uh, cultivating a renewed purpose as you transition to retirement, um, looking after your health, making sure you have the, the health and energy to enjoy the nest egg, the financial assets and pensions that you've accrued, um, developing specific goals for your retirement, looking at your pension plans, how to integrate them effectively into your portfolio of investments, making sure tax planning is done effectively so you're not paying more than necessary. And of course, at the end of the day, there might be opportunities to do estate planning and to think about legacy. So looking past your own retirement and looking at the legacy you leave behind uh, after you're gone. Those are all really important components to the retirement success equation. So we're going to talk about retirement goals. Uh, this couple looks like they're having a really enjoyable uh, retirement. They've got everything uh, together, at least objectively, but of course no one does. All of us struggle with uh, both great hopes and, and fears, aspirations, goals, anxieties. It's a conglomeration of all those things. And to the extent that you go through a goal setting exercise and seek clarification, you'll have even more confidence and clarity uh, as you transition into retirement. So retirement is one of those interesting things. On the one side, it's, it's full of hope and expectation, a new beginning of sorts, but it also has with it a sense of anxiety and concern. Uh, it's a change and that always creates a little bit of psychological anxiety uh, for people. So when we think about our goals, what I'd like you to do is, is kind of broaden your perspective on goal setting for retirement. Often we kind of default to the financial aspects. Okay, so how much do I need to have in my nest egg when I retire? What kind of returns do I need to get? Uh, what level of after-tax income can I afford to, to spend down? Now those are all really important aspects of the retirement plan. But I'm going to suggest that it's a much broader uh, set of goals than that. So this chart uh, really emphasizes some of the key areas. You look at it, um, what kind of experiences do you want to have when you retire? So you've got an after-tax income you're aspiring to that's going to pay for various things. And embedded in that is experiences. For the first time in your life, possibly, you're going to have complete control over how you spend your time and the things that you're going to do. So part of goal setting is write down experiences you'd like to um, have when you retire. What are your lifestyle costs? We've talked about this before in previous um, uh, you know, videos, but that's really getting clear on your basic non-discretionary expenses, your discretionary expenses, really you know, understanding the after-tax costs. Do you have any legacy aspirations? It's really important to be clear on that one because how you focus in on legacy can potentially have an impact on how you handle your investment portfolio and your level of expenditures as you go through your retirement years. What about your residence? Will you stay in your current home? Will you move provinces or countries even? Um, will you move from your current residence to downsize? You need to begin thinking about those things and talking about those things with your partner to make sure that you're on the same wavelength. Um, purpose and meaning. The interesting thing is, is in our work lives and as we raise our families as an example, there's a lot of things that are in our lives that just almost automatically create meaning and purpose. And as we get older, we have to more intentionally create that meaning and purpose, particularly for those of us that have put a lot of time into our work and our careers. We get a sense of purpose and accomplishment. Uh, we get maybe some pats on the back for a job well done. Well, how will your life change if none of that's there and you have to recreate purpose out of things that you do? And if those things are important to you, we're finding for many people, when they think about retirement, they're not thinking about being fully retired into a life of leisure. They're just wanting to make sure that they have got clarity, that they have sufficient financial assets, that if they do need to be fully retired, that they can do that. But we're seeing more and more people 
building second careers, doing consulting, um, you know, finding meaning in ongoing professional employment, they're just doing it on their terms. And so it's really imp important that you try to find your purpose and meaning, whether it's volunteer work, whether it's a second career, whether it's um, you know, just helping people in your community, but you need to work through that and, and get clarity. Health and energy, that starts today. Um, it's really important that you do a self-assessment on that one because you don't want to go through an exercise of planning your retirement and then five years into it your health is deteriorated so much that you can't travel. Uh, you can't do the things you want to do. So really health and looking after our physical health and our nutrition and our stress levels is a really important piece. And the last one I have, and this is not an exhaustive list, but is relationships. What are the quality of the relationships? And in fact, particularly if you've got a partner, retirement puts a lot of stress on relationships because you've got a certain kind of relationship going while you're working and you both have your own lives and then all of a sudden your lives may become together in a way that they never had before and you have to renegotiate your relationship a little bit. So you need to think through that. And even things like how you handle your time. You know, when you work full time, your time is accounted for in a lot of ways. A lot of people are drawing on your time. And then you have to be intentional as you phase into retirement about how you're going to use your time effectively. Okay, so those are just some of the things uh, to think about. Now, if you're viewing the video on our YouTube page, All Things Retirement, there'll be links to take you back to our, our web, uh, website to a page that will have resources on you know, goal setting and tracking expenses and that kind of thing. And I'd encourage you to go back to that page and uh, you can just download those resources. Um, they're complimentary and they can be used to begin thinking through some of these, these critical issues. So retirement goals, it's bigger than just the financial piece. It's much broader than that. And if you want to maximize your retirement years and, uh, and get the most possible out of it, then broaden your perspective on those goals and begin working on them, particularly if you're five years away from retirement. That's not too early to start this discussion and seeking clarity on what's important to you. One of the things that, that uh, we find clients get a lot of value from when it comes to this goals exercise is something called, we call the financial roadmap. And if you look at the schematic, you can see the road. On the left-hand side is a box that looks at where you are currently financially and where you need to be financially by the time you retire. The road basically takes us along this winding destination point to a staircase. What's the staircase? Well, the staircase basically is what's important about you know, retirement to you. What's important about money to you? Money is a tool. And for a lot of people, when they go through the exercise of clarification around their values around money, it's incredibly important. I often have people getting quite emotional when they go through this exercise. When I say, what's important about money to you? And all of a sudden they say, um, making a difference, peace of mind, security, creating a legacy, helping my grandchildren, new experiences, personal growth. There's all kinds of things that come up through that discussion. It's very powerful. Now, why is it important to get clear on the staircase of values? Because that's the stuff that creates excitement. That propels you to actually do the retirement income planning and then work with your advisor to stay consistent with that planning and actually execute on the strategies that you need to, to initiate to achieve ultimately uh, what's important to you on that value staircase. We have the little boxes along the way which are milestones. Milestones are specific goals usually with a timeline attached to it and often a dollar amount attached to it. So again, it could be things like, I want to retire in five years. I need $70,000 of after-tax income a year. I want that to be adjusted to inflation. I want to downsize our home or maybe downsize but buy a condo and then a recreational property. It could be helping our grandchildren with their education. So this is a wonderful exercise to go, go through to get clarification on your overall goals for retirement. Have you ever considered hiring a retirement coach? If there's one area in financial planning that I think really, really leverages off the power of the coaching model, I think you know the whole goals clarification piece and retirement income planning benefits greatly from this. What's a coach do? Takes a look at your current situation, understands your goals and objectives, um, does analysis to confirm whether you're tracking in the right direction. If your current constellation of talents, abilities, assets um, isn't sufficient to do what you want to do, you want to hear about that and what corrective 
measures do you need to take between now and retirement to be on track to reaching your goals? And then guiding you through the strategy, helping you with implementation, correcting along the way, offering words of encouragement and accountability. Coaching in the area of retirement in compliance is extremely uh, very important. And then we look at the gap analysis. We offer, uh, for people who are interested in exploring a retirement coaching process, a gap analysis. It's sort of a, a streamlined planning analysis where we sit down with the folks and we just go over some basic planning. We're able to do some basic forecasting to confirm whether you're on track to reach your retirement income goals or not and what the gaps might be and then offer some preliminary solutions to uh, you know dealing with those gaps. Uh, we find a lot of people go through this process because a lot of times people think they're on track, but they just want to get that third-party confirmation they're not missing anything. So we walk a lot of people through this complimentary process. At the end of it, if we've identified some gaps and they need some assistance, then we welcome a conversation after that. So if you're interested in exploring conversations around retirement income planning, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Contact information is on the video here. My email is uh, shumphreesatasante.com. And we've got the website, seanhumphreys.com, and we can be reached at 204-977-8022. All the best in your retirement income planning.